back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. And I really do appreciate your time. <sighs> so, today I'm going to be doing a short video on these pictures I saw on Facebook that I am in, I'm just in disbelief. I cannot believe that this man is really like, really okay with this the person who originally posted these pictures she blocked out um the guy's instagram as well as his fiance that he tagged in these photos and listen this video is not going to be to shame or slander anyone who does date ir whether it's a man or a woman i understand that there are circumstances where you do find love with a person who does not share your same race or or ethnicity and that's just what happens and regardless of how other people feel sometimes that is the best thing for you you can be happy in those relationships completely without being a sellout to your race however <laughs> in this situation i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and say that if you're the type of person who would cosplay as a slave with your white girlfriend <laughs> it says a lot to me about your character and uh, frankly your 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 race loyalty that you would think that this is okay the whole time she's planning this i'm sure at some point the aesthetic was communicated that hey because if you look at the pictures you could say okay this is like a i don't know like there's like this new thing on tiktok called like cottage core and it basically features you know people cosplaying in different types of you know, uh, cottage-esque, whimsical, fairy-like, uh, fashioned, you know, just, just incorporating some of that into your daily outfits, which, you know, I don't really understand, but I get the aesthetic here. However, if you go to one of the pictures, he's wearing chains on his hands, like the same type of chains that they would put on slaves when, um, they were either transporting them, excuse me, enslaved africans excuse me when they were transporting them or when they were on punishment uh for running away or any of those type of related things so it's clear here this is not like a regular cottage core uh you know little farm on a prairie this is not what it's giving it's meant to come off as like a slave like i, I guess it's supposed to be a commentary on <laughs> the freedoms now afforded to black black men and women that now we can get married <laughs> oh my goodness it's so crazy because whenever um i'm watching a cynthia g video she specifically talks about how black men started some of the first legislation uh to allow them to marry white women <laughs> And that's what this absolutely reminds me of. This is so absolutely cringy. Again, I just, it just causes me to think like when you see certain, I, you know, people in interracial relationships and, you know, you either notice the stereotypical hair, the, the haircuts, you know, that we associated with men who date white women, as well as the struggle hair that we associate with black women who date white men. I, 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 while I definitely, again, understand there are instances where people end up in an interracial relationship and it has nothing to do with their uh, questionable black identity politics. <laughs> I do think there are absolutely cases where you have people who are definitely in a strange place um, where there definitely are some internalized self-hatred, you know, going on there and it reflects in who they end up with so just like in this case this man is clearly cosplaying as a slave and it's, it's not funny but it's funny this man is clearly cosplaying as a slave in his engagement photos with his wife right his white girlfriend fiance and he thinks this this is okay like he posted these on his instagram and he thinks this is okay and that is i'm sorry but that is absolutely a marker of his pathology concerning his race and the fact that he does not understand that this is wildly inappropriate <laughs> and it definitely 
reveals to me something about his personality that he would end up with a white woman. I'm sorry. I, I just, I can't separate these two here. Uh, there, there are definitely, you know, situations where you have people who date interracially because that's the only thing they were ever going to do anyway. They were never going to end up with a black person, um, whether they are a self-proclaimed Oreo or whatever the case may be. You definitely have those black people who from, you know, a very long time ago, it was based, you know, whether it has to do with their upbringing, what they were around, what their interests are. It, it was very, very highly unlikely that they would end up with another black person. And that's what I'm, that's what I see here, honestly. Um, if he's happy, you know, in, in the sunken place, I'm sure that he is. <laughs> enjoying his relationship and enjoying his time with this white woman um but i really would like to just say this before i go if you are a black man and you're dating a white woman not even so much a black man just if you're a black person dating a white person and at any point there's this idea introduced that the person you're dating finds something sexy about slavery you know just it's 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 a part of their kink that is a dead giveaway that this person is definitely racist right they're definitely racist and they're so racist to the point where it has become not as serious as it should be and it's turned into a kink so please do not date anyone like that don't fall into this idea of oh, well, they, they can't be racist because they're dating me. This idea that white people can't be racist, you know, because they date black people is absolutely ridiculous. If we take a look at slavery, on many occasions, uh, the enslaved Africans were, physic were sexually assaulted by the very people who hated them and did not see them as human. So that notion that, you, you, you know, you're absolutely not racist because you will date outside of your race or you will sleep with someone outside of your race is BS. And please don't use this, 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 this mindset to give you an excuse to date someone who's probably a racist. OK, um, that's all I had to say about this foolishness. Thank you so much for watching. If you're feeling what I'm saying or if you just want to sound off in the comment section, please do. Um, please give my video a thumbs up and a share if you think someone else needs to hear what I'm saying. But yes, thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.